Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to give you a brief presentation, not on yet another coin, but on the future of how I hope you will all pay on the internet. So I'm going to present to you GNU Thaler, which is a new digital payment system developed, well, largely in Europe and the Americas, not so much yet in Asia. Um, and uh, since I only have a short amount of time, I wanted to basically show you how it works on a user experience level as opposed to on the technology level. Um, so the first thing for this demonstration, we have a simple bank set up where we uh, can create a new account. And since this is a demonstration, we use the currency kudos as opposed to Taiwanese dollars or euros. Um, and when we create an account, well, the system is very nice. It gives me 100 kudos starting bonus. But this is just the most funny money out there, right? You can't really use this outside of the demo. Now, here I can then tell my bank I want to transfer digital cash into my electronic wallet. So in this case, I'm going to transfer, say, 25 kudos. And now I can either scan this QR code with my mobile phone or, in this case, I have a web extension installed. I can go into the web extension of my browser. And, well, the network is a bit slow from here. The servers are all in Europe. <laughs> um, and it now says, okay, you're about to withdraw these 25 kudos. Do you want to do that? I can confirm this. Now it will go back to the bank and ask me to confirm the transaction there. You can think of some PIN, TAN code check uh, happening. And so when I've confirmed the transaction with the bank, now the money will go into my electronic wallet here in the browser. Now, when I want to go shopping, and that's, of course, the most important part, you know, it's the shopping. Uh, here is a newspaper writer who wrote some articles that maybe I want to read. And I can select the article I want to read. And again, the website has a paywall and says you have to pay with Taler. And so again, I can open it in my browser wallet, confirm the payment, and I've done the payment and I'm being redirected to the actual article I bought. Now, what is important here is that the cryptography used allows me to spend money anonymously. It's like a cash purchase. The government can't see when I use this for buying train tickets, from buying articles that journalists published, when I go to a healthcare provider and pay for my healthcare services. This is private. This remains private. The bank doesn't learn about it. The payment service provider does not learn my identity when I make a payment. However, the person receiving the payment is transparent to the government, so we can make sure they pay their taxes. We can make sure it's a legal business. We can make sure it's not used for tax evasion. We can also pay across media. For example, if I now go for a different article here, I can scan this with my mobile phone. I have to put down the microphone for that, I think. So now I'm scanning the QR code, and basically the phone now shows me what I'm about to buy. It gets the same information, what is the price, what are the fees. And when I confirm the payment on the phone, the phone makes the payment, and the browser notices that I have paid and shows me the article. Now, how hard could this be to implement if you are a merchant and you want to accept this payment method? Well, here is a documentation for the REST API that has been linked. Basically, what you need is these five lines of Python to create an order using a REST request. And then if you want to check if the payment has happened, you have another two lines of Python to check that the payment was confirmed. That is what it takes for integration. Now, if you are interested in this, the NLNet Foundation is going to pay out about 700,000 euros in grants globally 
for integration of Thaler into free software projects over the next three years. This is globally. You can apply if you have interesting ideas for what to do with the GNU Thaler payment system in free software. This is an opportunity to get funded to do this kind of work. Thank you.